Welcome to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Thursday, 23rd of July. Uh, broadly speaking, we're still risk positive um, following on from the moves that we saw uh, yesterday. Um, really strong breakouts in, in recent days actually across equity markets and uh, in Forex majors. Um, that move has basically been maintained. Um, that's the S&P 500 breaking out to multi-month highs. Uh, futures levels also similarly uh, still going. And um, it's interesting that the dollar continues to, to weaken. It's under pressure. Now looking at that crucial March 2020 low, 94.65, and a decisive break under that. And you really are so getting to multi-year low levels then. So um, a really important level of support that. Um, but uh, broadly speaking, risk appetite is still positive and dollar negative. Uh, you can see the euro continues to climb the above 115 figure. Um, Broadly speaking, these uh, are all fairly sort of uh, leaning dollar negative and uh, risk positives through the equity market. So it's all fairly positively set up still. Um, looking for decent moves that uh, are continuing. Now, it'd be interesting to see whether these uh, moves can con um, sort of sustain any um, prospects of profit taking near term. Um, gold, 1880 on gold. I mean, bearing in mind that um, that broke out above 18, um, 118 bucks uh, earlier this week, which was a, seen as a crucial move, just really, uh, really gone this week. Um, silver, though, rolling over the top a little bit. So just bear in mind that uh, we could be set for some uh, near-term profit-taking potential there. Um, but what we are looking at is uh, that uh, not a huge amount to really uh, shuffle the market around today. In terms of data points, we're looking at the weekly jobless claims and Eurozone uh, consumer confidence levels. So uh, you've got Eurozone, uh, sorry, uh, jobless claims, 1.3 million. Now, that is basically, they haven't, uh, those uh, jobless numbers have sort of flattened off in the last couple of weeks, haven't they? So, um, yeah, we'll see if that... Uh, in gets an improving lower than expected number. Um, but also the Eurozone consumer confidence numbers are minus 12. So an improvement there on Eurozone confidence in July, but uh, still not all that great. Still still trying to claw back some, um, some levels seen um, previously in the year, which was um, under the 10 mark mostly. So uh, yeah, we um, look out for that this afternoon. But broadly speaking, we're fairly... Uh, fairly um, set, seemingly still on these uh, on this market move of risk positive and dollar negative. So that takes me on to my chart of the day, which is the Australian dollar. Now, Aussie dollar has been breaking out actually this week. 70.60 was a crucial level. 70 big figure uh, was also a basis of resistance, which is now meaning that this all this is now underlying demand and supported. So as the market has just stalled a little bit in the last session or so, uh, there are question marks as to whether we might start to see a bit of near-term profit taking. Now, if you can see here on the hourly chart, there was this support at 71.10. That was yesterday's low. And if it breaks below that, then that completes a small top pattern on the hourly. We've already started to see these sort of um, bearish divergences starting to come through. So it would be interesting to see if that does now begin to wait. RSI on the hourly, if that goes below, decisively below 40 then you'd suggest that that is starting to skew the market a little bit more corrective um, on a near-term basis anyway. And you pull back sort of towards the 70 big figure mark, 70 to 60. I would consider that a buying opportunity ultimately, but just on a near-term basis, it could well produce a little uh, opportunity at a better level to get in. Now, you've got resistance overhead. Um, now, this is really important because uh, the uh, Australian dollar broke out this week above 70 to 60. That was a crucial move. Open 72 figure there or thereabouts, and then 73 figure as that uh, 2019 high. So um, there are moves, I think, ahead where we're going to see further upside in um, uh, in the Aussie dollar. But just on a near-term basis, you might see a better level to enter that trade. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website, sign up to our webinars, and also click to watch Trade of Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas. And there's a new one to look at.